Hello and welcome back to Jade Empire. Last time we finally made it to the Imperial Palace. And look at all the puppies wandering around. And it's so cute. <laughs> oh. Now we're gonna get in this elevator and go tell the em the Emperor what a dick he is. Eventually. This is one of the many spires within the palace where visitors are raised as if by the glory of the Empire. Without a guide, you could be lost here for days. It's a good thing we brought Kang along. Why am I surprised he's not here? I don't know. Bye. Would we go straight to the throne? Really? Is that fast? I thought we had like a whole thing to go through. Ah, here's the thing. Try not to damage anything. The Empire has seen enough disgrace. Break everything I can see. Got it. I am Pa. Uh huh. What the hell? Oh. Yeah. 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 Club me on the back of the head. Yeah. 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 Rude. Smashy, smashy. Really, you're not gonna complain about that? Okay. We are nearly to the throne room. Although my father has let these unseen parts of the palace fall into disrepair, these chambers are the tombs of past leaders. This music is reminding me of the Prince of Persia. Hmm. Who is entombed here? <laughs> I have no interest. <laughs> we would be here for days, and you likely know the most prominent anyway. Sagacious Tien, the first emperor, founder of the Jade Empire, and builder of the Wall. Cormia, the Swift Arrow, defender of the First Age and commander of the Borderlands during the Horse Lord incursions. Sang-Si, the Broken Bow, the first woman to rule openly. She changed more in a single valiant battle than many others did with entire campaigns. The latest tombs belong to the emperor's brothers, Prince Sun Li and Sun Kin. You have caused me to doubt this, but here they are for your own eyes to see. Master Li is the Emperor's brother, and he is alive. That is what you said he told you, but here is the tomb of the glorious strategist before you. Is this all a lie? Yes. Have you actually seen inside the tombs? No, they have been sealed for 20 years. I don't have any more proof than what was announced to the people. I don't know what that is worth anymore. Nothing. It is worth nothing. If Master Lee is alive, what about Prince Kin? And your next question will be, what is in there if the brothers aren't? I can't say, but my father will explain everything. He has to. But your conviction is disturbing. I will definitely bring this up with my father when we confront him. We are close to the throne room. The longer we take, the more questions I have. And, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead. Can we go in here? No, we cannot. There's something about the rivets in this door that. I, I, I don't know, they're like mesmerizing. They look so much worse than the rest of the texture, and the texture doesn't look good, but there's just something like early 3D model about them. Hmm. Reading time! The Righteous Siege A vague account of the attack on the spirit monks of Dirge that maintained Sun Li and Sun Kin died in the assault. Despite obvious bias, some passages hint at the bloody actions that tormented Sagacious Zhu. Days turned to weeks as denial of the Emperor's authority continued. The gates of the fortress did not yield until cowards within were convinced to turn on their fellows. Victory was as inevitable as the tide. But losses were felt. Two brothers were claimed by crimes that remain unspoken. Lest the heart of the Empire break with the telling. Death's hand rose in their stead, 
to serve while Sun High returned life to the withered land. In the weeks that followed, the price of disloyalty was made clear to those in and out of the Emperor's honored grasp. A difficult time full of changes that not all would accept, but necessary cruelties ensured that no one in the Jade Empire would ever go thirsty again. Return to the heavens! That's what I think of your, uh, of your propaganda book. Grr. I'm hot. Damn it, no, I gotta do it. Uh, no, I really do, because this next part is actually. It, um, yeah, it, it, it's hard. Actually, I might be able to just siphon it. Yeah. I can't your spirit. I am hot. There we go. Where'd Silk Fox go? Did is she still back at the tomb? I guess. <laughs> About time you guys showed up. What? I doubt he'll take this intrusion kindly, especially not with, with the information we've learned. I, I don't know what my father has done, or what his reaction will be, but I want you to know something. I care for you, and I want to explore what we mean to each other in more intimate surroundings. We have to face my father and find out what has happened, what he has done. If we still can, afterwards, let's find out what we truly mean to each other. What? Sorry, I, the level up sound is still ringing in my ears. Seriously, that was so loud in my left ear that it, it rattled one of my teeth. <laughs> I'll stand by you, my heavenly lily. Ah, I longed for you to say that, and I will hold you to it. Now, to the Emperor and your master. I can only hope that my father has been the victim in this. I pray he has the answers I seek. The fate of the Empire depends on it. There we go. This is one of the things that I think you... I think you have to be romancing Silk Fox for. I can't swear to it, but I can't remember if I've... I, I, can't, I can't remember if I've ever gotten it on a playthrough where I didn't, so... Didn't want to take chances. I think it's also a really good gem that you get from a really late game. Chi plus five, intuition plus two. You helped Princess Sun Lian see that her father is behind the Empire's troubles. Whatever happens, you will always have an ally in court, an asset that cannot help but buoy your spirit. Right. And what I was just mumbling about, we're gonna be going overtime on this, probably by quite a bit. Twenty years, Lee. I have waited long enough. Atone for your treachery and give me what I require. Look to yourself, brother. You would have done the same. I am the eldest, and therefore the Emperor. I have you at a disadvantage, and yet you toy with me. What do you know, glorious strategist? Where is the spirit monk Amulet? You will find out soon enough, brother. I forgot I got the upgrade to the Father! Animal. Whoops. Child? What are you doing here? I have important matters. And what have you done to yourself? You look like a common street woman. And who is this? You invite filth into the halls of my palace? This is not how the child of the Emperor should act. Common street women dressed like cat women. Don't like lecture me. Master Lee's student brought me evidence from the Lotus Assassin Fortress. You allowed Death's hand to corrupt the Empire. Do you not know my name? Master Lee's student. Hmm. 
I am lawful stupid. I will open your eyes to the suffering of your people. This child, the very person who tested my Lotus assassins, brought to my doorstep by my own daughter. Tested? Try completely kick their asses. Brother Lee, did you plant the seeds for this fool to come here? Maybe. Layers upon layers, always the glorious strategist. Hmm. As I tried to say, Princess, Master Lee is the Emperor's brother. The lost sibling of the beloved Emperor's son, forced to hide at the edge of the Empire, until Death's hand brought him to me. Father, you said your brothers were killed. I don't understand. I don't blame you for your foolishness. What can you possibly know? The Emperor is the manifestation of divine. That is your role as figurehead. How could you betray the people? Your greed has unsettled the whole of the Empire. The dead no longer sleep. My child, remember your place. I have no patience for anyone that challenges my authority, not even me. Kill the rest. They are unimportant. No! <laughs> Disgrace the Empire! Enough! I am God, Emperor Sun! In my youth, I ruled dutifully. But nature does not respect titles. Withering drought, not battle, threatened to take my throne. But I would not allow it. I assaulted the underworld and claimed the great water dragon. And neither the treachery of my siblings nor my failing body could stop me. I am no longer a slave to time's decay. My actions have brought the Empire great strength and its Emperor endless power. Who among you would dare challenge my right to rule? Computer, did you turn your ribs into teeth? Ew. Forgive me, but I cannot let you continue. You're just too gross and creepy. That glow. Brother Lee hid the amulet in plain sight and acted as his own diversion, just as Death's hand diverted attention from me. The obvious threat hid the insidious one. Do you even know what you hold, child? What truly led you here? You have, you have upset the order of things. I do what I must. But for whom, I wonder, do you blindly follow the will of your master? Is anything so simple? You were guided to. What did Lee tell you? That I murdered your people and caused the restless dead? Side effects. Afterthoughts. This is about power. And I will add yours to what I have stolen. Even if you are impervious to my sorcery, it changes nothing. I am a god. Come, student of Lee. Your quest for death is at an end. Now we start the gauntlet. Yeah, this is the bulk of this boss fight. Make no mistake, this is a boss fight. Gotta go through like three straight layers of mobs. This is your end! At least one of them is fairly difficult. Also, why exactly does 
like every member of the Imperial Army know Viper style. I mean, the, the army is just being suspicious. Where did they get all the scrolls? They disintegrate. They disintegrate every time you use them. spirit back up and then I'll and then I'll start the next video and uh, then we'll get to the actual boss fight hopefully if you like this video like comment subscribe share with your friends yada 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 thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time